this, yeah. let's set this up. So Christian Petrarca has been invited a long time ago by Red Bull to go to a training camp. It is a very significant invitation, this. Um, Gary Ablett's gone. Scott Pendlebury's gone in the past. Um, yeah, numerous players. And it's a big thing for Christian Petrarca in many ways. And I believe that he sees it very much as his comeback. It's the start of his comeback from his injuries. However, it does cross with the best and fairest of the Melbourne Football Club and yeah. some would say maybe it was the right thing to do to turn up. Yeah, I would have thought so. Ed, for someone who has had a lot of pushback on, on uh, people like myself, and I, I, don't, I don't resolve from my commentary and my criticisms of the whole brand Petrarca as aspect of this, but to go overseas for a private sponsor, Red Bull, on the period of time when the best and fairest of your footy club is being held, having endured allegations and comments and, and criticisms about your brand, I don't think it'd be something that I would be doing if I was trying to fix a brand. Well, but, but if you're Gary Pert, you're not going to go up to him at the moment where things are just you know, still a bit ropey and say, mate, turn up the best and fairest. You don't win. Well, what not? You're out for half the season. Yeah, every other player will be I going. Know, but it, it, it's, it's in a part of the standard player contract in the last time I read one that you attend. But maybe they think that it's better. For, let's, let's listen to him first and then we'll come back. Here's Christian Petrarca. Conversations I've had over the past two or three months with the club have, have been really healthy and uh, we've had really robust discussions and I think that's awesome. I think myself and other leaders of the football club will be having these conversations and um, like any workplace or any footy club, you have these conversations um, throughout the year and you just want to make an environment a really good one that we love coming to work. Yeah, we'll, we'll head off overseas, Bella and I, for a little bit and, and we'll obviously we'll do the Red Bull training camp again. I've done that the last three years and for me it's just been the most amazing experience being able, being able to use their facilities and have access to some of the best um, you know, high performance people in the world. Okay, boys, I'll ask you guys. For me, I understand exactly what you say and I agree with a lot of the things you say. At the same time, I think he needs to get out of the country, get over there, get things, get everything going in his right direction. He could leave a day later, Ed. Yeah. He could leave on October 5. Can he? Go, or is it, I'm not oh, sure, well, is it crossover? Well, sure it might he, be in the middle of it, that's yeah. the thing. Well, anyway. again, he managed to get a reference to Red Bull there on a club-issued statement. Right. What, what are you claiming why he wasn't? I'm with Damo. I think with what he's been through, where he's been seen as selfish uh, a lot through this, I think it's a real lack of awareness. Uh, he gets paid his money to represent Melbourne. Uh, it's one of their major functions for the year. Imagine the next player turns up and says, hey, Purdy, um, something's popped up for me. Are you right if I miss the best and fairest? And the next bloke says, am I right to miss the best and fairest? That's why you have problems within a club if there's rules for some and rules for others. Except what about if this is going to make him a better player for next year and get all the stuff behind? Oh, I agree. OK. Well, I'll so tell you before you could, could have done it. Yep. Oh, well, he's a big enough deal and a big enough brand. He said he's done it three times. I'm a bit with the guys uh, next to me. You try and make both work. You try and go to Melbourne's best and fairest. You, you get up and you say similar things like, I'm super committed. Uh, well, I'm super committed to the club. I want to do my best for the next 12 months. I'm heading off tomorrow. I'm going to the Red Bull camp. It's been great for me becoming the star of the competition. You've run a footy club and you've dealt with some behavioural issues over the journey. What would you be saying to the equivalent of Christian Petrarca? Oh, I, think, I think you're being really hard on I'd say, if you don't turn up, I'll sack you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, really. no, I'd be... Look, in that situation, it's in the diary. Yeah. yeah After all he's been through yeah. and, and all the defensiveness around the But I, but I can also the see at the same time what they're doing. But, yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. You, you have these things gazetted nice and early. I mean, for us at Collingwood, we know the Friday after the grand final is the EW Kaplan Trophy. Be there or don't turn up. What, what if he didn't get injured on King's birthday and played and was potentially going to win another best and fairest? Did, yeah. Would he have gone on October 4 or stayed until October 4? It's a good point. But yeah, yeah, but yeah OK. Uh, 